Welcome to our video series on how to alter serve. In this video, we will be going over the altar service responsibilities in the Sunday Mass. The first part of the Mass is the procession. Take note of the formation. The person who carries the cross, also called the crucifer, goes first. Then the two candle bearers. Then the deacon, the other altar servers, and finally the priest. The crucifer will put the cross at the back in the stand and the candle bearers will put their candles on the altar. Then the crucifer and the candle bearers will stand next to the priest while the other altar servers remain at the bottom of the steps. Make sure to leave a little room for the deacon. When the priest genuflects or bows, all the altar servers will genuflect. The altar service will then go to their seats and stand. The altar server should get the sacramentary book ready when the lines with the Holy Spirit are said or sung during the Gloria. Once the priest says, let us pray, the altar server will bring up the book to the priest. The priest will now say the prayer. Remember, when the priest is done, take a half a step back and bow. After the petitions, two altar servers will get the book and the chalice, while the other two prepare the offertory candles. Notice that the altar servers bow in front of the altar together when they get the candles. Also notice when the other altar servers put the book and the chalice on the altar, they bow towards the altar. All four altar servers will now go to the bottom of the steps. The two candle bearers will go to the back. Once the priest comes, the altar service will turn around. The candle bearers will walk to the gifts and then walk the gifts back. Notice that the candle bearers will go behind the other altar servers. Once the candles are put back, a fifth altar server will extinguish them with the candle snuffer. The next part is the hand washing. This will be done after he gets up on the table. During the consecration, the altar service will have to ring the bell several times. The first time, ring the bell two times shortly. As the host is raised, ring the bell three times shortly. Remember to bow deeply as the priest genuflects. The priest will then pick up the chalice and speak some words over it. 
When the chalice is raised, ring the bells three times shortly again. Again, bow deeply as the priest genuflects. After the sign of peace, the altar service will each pick up two ciboriums, which are the golden bowls, and put them on the altar. The first altar server will also take back the book. Remember to bow to the priest, or if he is busy, to the altar. After the altar is cleared, the priest will sit down. Get the second book ready at this point. When the priest stands up and says, let us pray, bring the book forward. If you are tall, stand a little to the side while holding the book so everyone will be able to see the priest. Again, remember to take a half a step back and then bow when the priest is done. At the end of the Mass, one of the candle bearers and the crucifer will go to the other side of the church. All the rest remain on the original side. The candle bearers and the crucifer will then get the candles and the cross. The other altar service will line up at the bottom of the steps. Again, everyone will genuflect when the priest bows or genuflects. In the procession outward, the crucifer will lead, followed by the candle bearers, the other altar servers, and then the priest and the deacon. To see other videos in the series, such as preparing in the sacristy, serving a weekday mass, and serving with incense, please click on the links in the description below.